In this video, I'm going to demonstrate options for saving files, including different file types, auto-save settings, and for 365 users, we'll look at version history. When you create a new workbook, it'll be given a default name, book1 or book2.xlsx, etc. The first thing you need to do is save it. For this, go to the File tab, and then click Save, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control s when you press Ctrl S for the first time, it's going to ask you where you want to save the workbook. It's opened the dialog box where I can choose the folder that I want to save it in. I can give the file a name. Now you don't need to have the .xlsx on the end. When you press save, that will automatically be appended. So you can just type over this your new name, choose your file type. You can choose from any of these file types. The default is .xlsx. If you have macros in your workbook, then you'll want to save it as a .xlsm. You can save it as a binary or a CSV. There's lots to choose from there, so I'll let you browse through them. Once you're ready, click Save. Once you save your workbook, you'll see the name in the top here. It says Saved. When I make changes to the workbook, because I'm an Office 365 user, it's set to Auto Save. Now you can toggle that on and off using the button in the top left. When I make a change with Auto Save turned on, you can see I've typed in some numbers in the cell, I press enter, and now it's showing it that it's saving. It's saving a copy of my file up to OneDrive or SharePoint, depending on where I've saved it. If you're not an Office 365 user, then you're going to want to get into the habit of saving frequently. So keyboard shortcut Control S, or you can click the save icon in the quick access toolbar. If you don't like having auto save on, then you can go to the file tab and down in the options you want to go save you can deselect auto save onedrive and sharepoint online files by default notice that in this dialog box here you can also choose your auto recovery frequency change the minutes to anything you want choose whether you keep the last auto recovered version and where to place that file don't show the backstage when opening or saving files with keyboard shortcuts so you saw that when I pressed Control S, it opened the dialog box. If you don't have that checked, it's going to take you to the file backstage area for save. And that's similar to save a copy. You'll see a dialog like this. So now that we're here, if you want to save a copy, this is what we do. We go to save a copy, give the file a new name, choose the workbook type. We can click here on the slug to change where we're saving the file to and it's going to open the dialog box that we saw earlier. We can choose the location there, or we can go back. I'll show you the other option. We can navigate to a recent location. These are my 365 locations for OneDrive and SharePoint. You can choose a location on this PC, add a location, or browse to a new location. The keyboard shortcut for save a copy is F12, so you don't need to go file and then save a copy. You can just click F12 and it will open the Save As dialog box. For Office 365 users, you can see up here if I click on the drop down, I've got my file name. I can actually modify my file name here. Just type in a new file name and it will automatically update it. It's showing me the location my file is and I can access version history through this link. This is just for Office 365 users. So that wraps up saving files and saving copies of files. Let's move on to the next lesson.